Have you been wondering why so many producers in the industry are using a sampler with samples that anybody could have? What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And please, don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com, get yourself one of our premium composition packs, get yourself some MIDI drums, get yourself a six pack, get yourself 500 free loops today and get them now. Also, please follow me on IG. If you ever need to cuss me out, if you ever have a question about Studio One or anything, you can hit me up. The DMs are open. Now today, I wanna go back into our output series um, and kind of show you guys, continue to show you guys the power of output and um, the power of arcade and why it is just such a really great tool to use in your production, specifically, specifically, if you use loops and sample packs, like if you use sample packs, if, if you get a kit from CMP kits and you, you know, you bust into it and you, um, and you got the MIDI and you've got the, uh, and you've got the compositions and you're just flipping the composition inside of, um, something like Serato sample or the MPC, you, you can make, you, you can make, uh, you can make great stuff, but, um, unlocking the power of arcade and using user kits can just can just take that experience to a whole new level and I want to show you what I mean um, right now I have I have a user kit loaded up and I'm using I'm using um, my memories kit this is my latest composition kit that I dropped um, I'm using I'm using composition 7 and I'm just I have I, I've, I've got the keys stem loaded up and I've got the melody stem loaded up and I was able I was able to create this part of the loop with uh, with the first part of the sample. So you see, it's just these two keys. And what I have is I've got the, I've got the keys track are loaded up. Um, it's just, it's just looping right here. And then on this section, I'm sorry, this section, I have, I have this, um, this texture up top that I'm just kind of, that I'm just kind of letting play. And it's cool because you can use, you know, you can use, you can use it like a one shot. You can lose it. You can use it like a loop. It's very, um, intuitive like that. Uh, another thing that I'm doing, which is, which is something that I really wound up liking about arcade, like digging a little deeper into it is this mixer. And it, it has a signable sense. Uh, you get two sends, right? It's not as powerful as your doll, but you don't really need it to be because you're using this inside your doll, right? And um, you don't have to just use a reverb and a a delay, right? So you have all these different sends that you can use. This lo-fi, this lo-fi um, send is really great for adding like a parallel processing and adding grit. And what it can do is it'll is it'll make the loop kind of kind of jump out more in the mix um, because because you're adding you're adding that to it. So, you know, we came up with this, with this little front piece, you know, no big deal. Obviously you guys heard the drums in the beginning. And then we're, where we really started having fun was on this, was on this switch up, right? So when we hit the switch up, So when you're, when you're using arcade with your own samples, right, you're, you're really like, you're, you're locking into your creativity. You're getting out of, you're getting out of their safe space of their samples. And, you know, really in this, um, in this condition where you're kind of worried, like, oh, you know, somebody else might be grabbing this sample. Why would I even be using this? Like, no, this is, this is your own curated, um, deal. What I have here is I just went and these, um, these notes that I use to create the melody. They are. They're pieces, they're pieces from the original, from the original, uh, from the original key set. But in this section, they're being played slower. So I, so what I did was I, I, I chopped different individual notes where, where those hit and I was able to replay it as a different melody, right? 
Then I put halftime on it. Here's what it sounds like without halftime, right? So this is what it sounds like. And you know, that's, that's, that's not that dope. So, so went ahead through halftime on it. It made a little bit more sense. So here's where, so here's where things get, get interesting. Like it, it's, you've, you've done your, you know, you've done, you've done your creative duty. You went and you chopped your own sample. You curated your own sample. Now you can use, now you can use arcade as, you know, as, as a VST, right? So I, I was just like, you know, I just want to put some sauce on top of it. I want something that, you know, maybe plays up in the higher register, um, you know, and the great thing, the great thing about arcade is depending on what library you go to, you're going to want, they do a good job of creating samples that maybe you wouldn't uh, be able to create on a piano roll so easily. And that's what I look for, right? So you can, you can like really find some exotic sample like this passport series. It's just all exotic flutes instead of instead of, you know, your your regular, you know, one shot samples that you get on that you get on Reddit, which that's you know, that's that's really how you're going to sound like everybody else. You can grab, you know, you can grab one of these new samples and they they put new ones in every week. So um, you can just grab the newest one or the oldest one, whatever you want to do. And I mean, literally, I'm just to make the, to make this melody that has, that has this cool phrase articulation. I'm just hitting two notes, man. And here's, here's it without that. Right. So, if, so if I didn't have this guy, You know, it's it, it's it's all right, but it's not it's not everything, right? And boom. So it's just it's just super simple to make you know to make something that is that is you know that's pretty interesting. Not necessarily not necessarily complex, but something something that's in, that's interesting to the ear. It's something that. Um, will really, again, this is going to, this is going to extend the life of your sample packs, especially, you know, like a great sample pack, like something like mine is going to, is, is going to run you a neighborhood of $27. Um, depending, depending on the profile of, of the sample creator, they could go for as much as, for as much as almost $70 with the, with the, um, with the price of the stems. Right. And what I would hate to see for you guys is for you guys not to get the value in that. Right. So arcade is an amazing tool to be able to do this. Um, this isn't a sponsored video. This is just something that I'm passionate about. And I think that, I think they will really help a lot of you guys out. So this is CMP with craft master production, CMP kits.com. Keep it simple, but don't be basic. And we will see you on the next one.